In this NumPy tutorial, I will be teaching you about normal distribution. I will be discussing different ways in which we can create different dimensions of normal distribution. And then we will be moving on to visualization. I will be showing you how we can visualize normal distribution using matplotlib and c1 modules in Jupyter Notebook. So without wasting further time, let's get into it. So the normal distribution is one of the most important distributions. Okay. It is also called the Gaussian distribution after the German mathematician Karl Friedrich Gauss. It fits the probability distribution of many events, for example, IQ scores and heartbeat. We use random.normal method to get a normal data distribution. Okay. It has three parameters basically. The first one is called the mean, the second one is called the standard deviation and the third one is the shape of the returned array. So for mean, we will be using LOC. So LOC is the mean where the peak of the bell exists. Then for standard deviation, we'll be using the keyword scale. So scale basically means that how flat the graph distribution should be. Okay. And then we have size. So size is basically the shape of the returned array. So for importing the random package, we can import the entire NumPy library or we can import the random uh, module from the NumPy library. Okay, you can do it in either of the ways. So I'll be importing the random module from NumPy. So for doing that, I'll have to write import NumPy, sorry, from NumPy, from NumPy import random. Okay, so by doing so, I am importing the random module from the entire NumPy library okay so i'll just press shift and enter so we have successfully imported how can we know that we have successfully imported if there is this number over here number seven any number basically so that means that the line of code has been successfully imported or the line of code has been successfully executed okay all right now if i want to generate a random normal distribution of size two into three so how can we, what can we do to generate a random normal distribution of size 2 into 3? We will have to write x is equal to random dot normal. Okay. And inside we will have to specify the size which we want. So size which we want is equal to inside the round brackets. I'll write 2 comma 3 which basically means that 2 rows and 3 columns. Okay. And in the next line, I'll write the print statement. So print and inside the round bracket X. Shift and enter. So we have got uh, an array of two rows and three columns as we wanted. Okay. All right. So suppose if we don't specify the size, then it will return only one element. So let's do that now. X is equal to random.normal random dot normal and this time we are not specifying any size so only opening and closing round brackets and then we will write the print statement so print x shift enter so it returned only one element okay we can also see the distribution we will talk about the distribution later in this video first we will see how we can generate this different kind of random distribution okay now, suppose that I want to generate a random distribution of size, suppose let's say 5 into 3, which means that 5 rows and 3 columns. So for doing that, I can write x is equal to random dot normal. Okay. And inside the size, which I mentioned was size is equal to 5 comma 3 5 comma 3 all right and in the next line print x shift and enter okay so we have got five rows one two three four and five and we have got three columns this is what we wanted okay all right now few things which i would like to show you about jupyter notebook is how can we clear all the outputs in the cell? So for clearing all the outputs, we will have to click over here cell 
and then we will have to click on all output and then we will have to click on clear okay so all the outputs are clear all right all the outputs are clear now suppose that i have written few important definitions of normal distribution and you want to do that you want to insert lines a paragraph in between your cells so for that you will have to click on this cell okay and then you will have to click on escape and m together okay notice that over here right now it is written code but when we will press escape and m together it will be written markdown and in the markdown cell we can add comments or we can uh, write big paragraphs okay for explaining purpose so escape and m so now notice that here markdown is appearing so now we can write anything without without using the hashtag so suppose that in the next uh, line of code i want to generate a random distribution of size 2 into 3 but this time the mean and the standard deviation is also specified okay so without using the hashtag i can write this simply so i want to generate a random normal distribution of size 2 into 3 okay of size 2 into 3 with mean at 1 and standard deviation of 2 with mean at 1 and standard deviation of 2 okay so now if i just press shift and enter so it will appear something like this okay so we have successfully added a text line in between our lines of code okay so for doing this we can write x is equal to random dot normal random dot normal and now i will have to specify the loc which is nothing but the mean so mean is equal to 1 which is given in the problem statement then we will have to specify the standard deviation which we also call a scale so the scale is equal to 2 and then we will have to specify the size so the size which we want that is equal to 2 rows and 3 columns so 2 comma 3 okay and then in the next line i'll write print okay x shift and enter so we successfully created a random normal distribution of size 2 into 3 with mean at 1 and standard deviation of 2 okay all right now we move on to visualization of normal distribution okay so i'll again create a markdown cell escape m and i'll write visualization of normal distribution okay shift and enter and for visualizing normal distribution we need some additional libraries as we have already discussed in the earlier videos so if you haven't watched the earlier videos you should watch the earlier seaborn video and uh, i have made four videos earlier watch it step by step so it will be easier for you to understand okay so for visualizing we will use matplotlib and we will use the pyplot specifically and then we will also use the c bond okay so i'll write import matplotlib as i'm sorry dot pyplot because we want the pyplot from matplotlib import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt okay and we also want the c bond so import c bond as sns okay 
so this plt and sns are basically short words short keywords so instead of using matplotlib pyplot and seaborn we are we will use small plt and sns throughout the entire program okay so this makes our task easier all right then in the next line we will write sns dot dist plot dist plot basically means the distribution plots okay so we want to visualize random dot normal of size is equal to 1000 okay and we do, we want the histogram okay we want it with the histogram so i am not writing histogram is equal to false we want it with the histogram so if i do not uh, specify that the histogram is false by default histogram will appear okay i do not have to specifically write histogram is equal to true by default the histogram will appear okay so i have just specified the size and then i'll write plt dot show okay shift enter okay so there is some error okay so we have made a spelling error instead of writing plt i just wrote pl so shift enter again and this time we will be able to see the graph okay so notice that the blue colored histogram is also appearing it is appearing because we haven't written histogram is equal to false and this is a bell shaped curve this is a bell shaped curve okay the curve of normal distribution is also known as the bell curve because of the bell shaped curve okay all right so if we do not want the histogram suppose we do not want the histogram then for doing that we will have to write i'm writing it once again sns dot dist plot and inside i'm writing random dot normal okay size i'm keeping it same for now 1000 okay but this time we will mention the histogram so histogram the short form is hist 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 is equal to false okay the f should be in capital the rest in small hist false then in the next line plt dot show opening closing brackets shift enter okay all right so this time there is no histogram okay this time there is no histogram and notice that the curve this time is not entirely well shaped it's a little crooked from here so that depends on the randomly generated data okay that entirely depends on the randomly generated data so overall it is a random distribution normal distribution but because we have uh, specified random dot normal so overall this is a normal distribution but depending on the values which the which the algorithm or the program has generated the curve is lo looking slightly crooked okay and this time blue histograms is not appearing because we have written hist is equal to false okay cool now suppose that i want to generate i want to generate random normal distribution of size 2 into 3 means two rows and three columns and then i want to visualize it then what will i do i'll write one second okay so i'll write sns dot dist plot dot dist plot one second and inside i'll write random 
dot normal okay and the size I want is the size which I want is two rows and three columns size is equal to just a second okay all right and then in the next line i'll write plt dot show okay so plt dot show opening and closing bracket shift enter c okay this time our distribution or the curve looks something like this so i hope that you have got some idea about normal distribution and how we can create normal distribution what are the methods to create normal distribution as well as how we can visualize the normal distribution using matplotlib and c1 so see you in the next tutorial till then take care bye